Are you trying to pull off the burr strategy in Cleveland? If so, sit your butt down, because I'm going to learn you something. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. I'm James Wise. If you haven't heard of me, I run Holton Wise. Holton Wise, we're the biggest name in town in the Cleveland market of investment, uh, real estate sales, property management, the whole shebang, right? We've done over $200 million worth of this stuff. And today I'm helping my man Andres, an investor from New York City, invest in the Cleveland market using the Burr strategy. Now, here's the thing, Andres. You are hoping uh, to do the Burr strategy on some multifamilies. Where the market is right now, brother, probably not going to happen, dude. There's just no inventory for that, right? So what I got for you with this video, and I'm doing a couple others for you, right? I got a couple other options for you. But this one specifically, right? This is going to be a burr strategy, but it's a single family because there ain't a lot of burrs out there that we can do in the multifamily space. The market, it's just not there right now. Can't sell you what don't exist, right? And then in addition to that, I'll be working on a video for you uh, where I'm showing you a multifamily, but it's not necessarily going to work with the burr strategy, right? So one, you get the multi, one, you get the burr, and then I got a third one, uh, which is going to be a short-term rental, which is going to be in the high-end space, which you might be like, whoa, dude, that's totally out of left field. It's true, it is, but the deal I got for you today, this Burr strategy deal, I know why you like Burr, right? You like Burr because you're making a higher ROI. I'm projecting out a 25% ROI on this one. That high-end Airbnb, I'm actually projecting out an uh, ROI above 40. So uh, there's a lot of different ways we can do this, folks. So if what you originally thought you wanted to do doesn't work, that's the purpose of these videos. That's the purpose of this show. That's my job, right? If you guys knew everything there was to know about the Cleveland market, what would be the point of me? Why would you pay my company money? No, we're here to take what you want to do, take your ideas, and craft them into what is realistic in the current market. In the market, man, it's up, it's down, it's moving. It's a moving, ever-evolving thing, right? So we are here doing this all day, every day, paying attention to it, conveying that information out to you so we can best achieve your real estate goals. So without further ado, Andres, let's take a quick break and then jump into all the numbers on this bird deal. Steve, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. We getting into them made some potatoes, boy! Woo! Man! I really love meat and potatoes, if y'all haven't noticed, right? Meat and potatoes, though, right? Let's talk about real estate, though. I love real estate. Meat and potatoes of this deal, okay? This deal, the numbers, man. What does this deal do for us? This thing going to make us money? It's been on the market for 93 days. Why isn't anybody buying it? We're talking about all that, man. 440 Florida, Lorraine, 48 Gs is what they want for this. Used to be more. Used to be more than 48 Gs. As a matter of fact, two weeks ago, it was 55 Gs. Will the deal make money for investors trying to do the burst strategy at 55? No. No, it will not. Is it a good deal at 48? Eh, okay. Do I want you to pay 48? No. No, I do not want you to pay 48. I don't work for the seller. I'm not the listing agent. I work for you and you alone, and I think 48 is too much. I want to see you buy this thing at 40, right? Are you overpaying at 48? Like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, you can do the the purchase at 48, do our rehab, and then end up like under what the total ARV is, I guess. But like it's not worth the effort because you're only going to end up about 2K under. At that point, just buy a turnkey property, right? So we got to really pick it up at 40, right? You pick it up at 40 because I want you to put 30 grand of reno into this, right? So you got to be all in at 70, okay? 
because the ARV of this sucker is, is really only going to be about 80, right? So we need that 10K buffer to make it worth your, your while. Without that 10K buffer, right, like what would be the point of going through all this effort to be 2K under ARV? That's an irrelevant amount of money, right? So we get all in at 70, and I'll go over what we got to do on the rehab in a second, but that's going to get us a Section A tenant paying 900. So after everything's all said and done at the end of the year, this investment should kick off a clear NOI of 5495 a year on average. And that's calculating things like your repairs, your maintenance, vacancy, cap expense, right? Fixed and variable expense estimates, right? You got to calculate all that jazz, folks, right? This is why burrs are so great, though, right? Because you're going to end up all in at 70. ARV 80. It's only 80. Only a 10K spread, right? It's not magic, folks. We don't get to go in, do 30K a reno, and then increase the value of the property by 300K. It doesn't work that way. That's pie in the sky. People telling you that are just getting you to buy a course, right? With us, with Holton Wise, you got to do real deals, real investments, actually make this work in the real world. So guess what? We use real numbers, and they don't look as sexy. But it is sexy if you know what you're looking at, right? Because you'd be all in at 70. We get it appraised at 80. You're making 55 and a half every year with your Section 8 tenant. Because it's appraised, uh, appraised at 80, you're getting your loan now for 60, meaning they're giving you 60 of your original 70 back. You only got 10 grand. Only have 10 grand stuck into the deal, now paying off your new mortgage. You're pulling home around 205 a month. That's a 25% return on your investment. That is an awesome return, especially when you're fully passive, right? So one of the questions you probably have, though, is, yo, okay, 30K, where'd you pull that number out of? You pull it out the sky? No, I didn't pull out the sky, but I don't have a lot of info on the house, right? Here's the house, okay? We got six photos, and guess what? None of them are telling us, like that much other than we got an old house, right? Like, look at this. See this? Nothing is new here, right? Nothing's new. Nothing's exciting. Little shot of the basement. This tells us that we have a not that old furnace, which is nice. It also tells us we have a wet basement, okay? You see that? It's on cinder blocks. Wouldn't be on cinder blocks if the basement was dry, but that's okay. You're in the Cleveland market. You're dealing with 100-year-old houses. What you don't want to do is get crazy and try to finish this basement space. The basement space is not going to be finished square footage. It's not going to be uh, living space. It's just going to be an unfinished space to house the mechanicals. What you want to do is dry log it. It's going to be about 2 Gs. Then you want to put a dehumidifier in there. At no point do you ever... Want to take one of these old Cleveland houses like this and try to finish the basement. You're just going to create mold. Bad situation. Hot water tank, newer, right? That's good because this furnace, by the way, these last 30 years, they cost three Gs to replace. These last 15 years, they cost a grand. So both of those are looking pretty good, okay? And other than that, we just got this, like, one shot of living room, right? So with all that said, what I know and don't know and, like, you know, you're looking at this, and there's not, like, a lot of info, right? We're not always going to get a lot of info from these listing agents, folks. But luckily, I've done over $200 million with these types of deals. I know what's going on, okay? I know, or I have a reason to believe we shouldn't have to spend money on the furnace or the hot water tank. That's 4 k right there, right? We're going to spend a couple on the basement, right? Probably two to $3,000, dry lock and all that jazz, right? Then after that, we're going to spend about twenty cosmetically, right? Remember that bathroom? Ooh, ugly, right? We ain't getting a $900 a month Section 8 tenant in that bathroom, right? So we're going to upgrade the fixtures in that bathroom. We're going to go through the rest of the house, right? Paint the walls, patch any holes, refinish the hardwoods, okay? That plus another few grand, right? So we're about, uh, right now, everything I just mentioned, bathroom, cosmetics for the rest of the house, basement, we're in the low 20s. Going to utilize the rest of that to improve the kitchen, right? Do I have a photo of the kitchen? No. Do I assume the kitchen's brand new? No. I mean, did you see the bathroom? I'm sure the kitchen looks to be the kitchen version of that bathroom, right? So all that is going to run us about 30 Gs. Cosmetics for the rest of the house, refinish hardwoods, paint, trim. Upgrade, ugly old bath. Upgrade the kitchen that I assume is ugly, matching the bath, dry lock in the basement. Should be around 30, right? That's our plan. So if we pick it up at the 40, do that 30, all in at 70, it's great. But there's some unknowns with this, and that's what you got to remember. This video is just step one of the due diligence process. We, of course, are going to put this under contract contingent on a home inspection. Then we're going to send an inspector in there. And you know what? There's two big things we have the inspector looking for. Number one, what's up with the roof? Number two, are there structural 
integrity issues with the basement. If there are structural integrity issues with the basement, it blows the deal. We got to move on to another one, most likely, because that could be anywhere between twenty and thirty thousand dollars, right? That's a big ticket item. The roof. Are we assuming the roof's brand new? No. It's probably not brand new. We're hoping we got at least like 10 years of life left because that's like a $7,000 roof. If it turns out the roof doesn't have at least 10 years of life left, we're going to have to go back to the seller and try to beat them up a little bit, right? Because if we got to do a roof in the next couple of years, it's another seven grand. So again, we go back to the original issue of buying it at the list price of 48. What's the point of doing this if you're only like 2K under the ARV? No, we got to stick to around 10K under the ARV, right? So if we do have an old roof, I could take that new information, go back to the seller, maybe chop it down. Maybe not the full seven, but maybe I can get it down to like 35, right? You want to be around that 10K difference, right? That's what a realistic bird deal looks like in the Cleveland market in 2021 right again i know people watch other shows and they think they'll make all this money or maybe like you'll end up getting a ten thousand dollar check back and then you have this rental property that's all great but the only people giving you videos or talking about that stuff are people that make their money selling you that dream that video right that's not like very logical to think that you can pull deals like that off in the actual real world right it's just not logical but this this is a logical deal that everyday investors like you can do, and I can help. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.